These coins are all mixed up, so I'm gonna build a sorter for them out of Lego. No matter what coins I put in, it'll be able to sort them by whatever coin they are. Now that I think about it, this might get pretty difficult. Well, let's do this. So these are all the coins that my Lego build will need to be able to sort. So we got pennies, we got nickels, dimes, quarters, ew. Let's uh, get a better one in there. Uh, half dollars and dollar coins. And half dollars are giant, look at these things. They're like huge. So yeah, I'll have to make my build do all six of these coins, which are all different sizes. So it might get a little complicated, but I think I have an idea. So this thing right here is kind of how I would make it work. So as you can see, there's rails on both sides and then there's this hollow part in the middle. And if I just add a brick to the side, I can show you this. So let's just say a quarter is trying to go past. It slides down here and it slides right over that. But then if I wanna put say a dime down that, it's too small to go over that so it just falls right down there. So I can have that sort of thing going all the way down for all six of them. And the size between the dime and a penny is so minuscule, as you can see, super small. So the nice thing about Lego pieces is that they have two types of snot bricks. They have indented ones and non-indented ones, which just makes it perfect for that slight difference in between pennies and dimes. But one more thing, all of these are different sizes, but the worst part goes penny, to nickel, right? Then it goes to dime, which is smaller than both of these two. So I wanna put them in order when they get organized. So the dime has to fall down first, but be third. So it's gonna be a little confusing there. I'm gonna have to make some sort of shoot that drops it down into the third slot. Yeah, I need to do something along the lines of this. Okay, so it took a minute, but I figured out the design right here. So I put a penny in. This is my little slot thing up here that I just made up real quick. But as you can see, if I drop a penny in, it goes right over. And if I drop a dime in, it goes right in there. So it took a minute because nothing was lining up. So I had to use jumper plates right here, which off center it in the middle of two studs. And then I had to add a certain amount of plates to get that to line up perfectly for a dime to fit, but not a penny. Because like I showed you earlier, the difference between them is very small, but it works. And it's honestly kind of fun. So I'm wondering what this is gonna be like when it's all done. <laughs> uh, but right now, the bigger coins won't go all the way through because there's studs right there, which that's an easy fix. But yeah, so I got dimes ready. And as you can see, I made this little stand thing that slopes up and it'll have to be at a down slant like this for momentum. But yeah, pretty cool. So now let's make six more of these. Okay, I got the basics done and all of these holes fit perfectly with the coins, but it's kind of a disaster. So let me pick it up real quick. There we go. So this is a sorter. And as you can see, there's all the different sizes of holes for each coin. So it just goes from smallest to largest. Everything down here is really good. I tiled it off too. It's kind of random colors. I don't have that many of one color piece, but I do have white tiles. So it's kind of nice on top a little bit. If I do the half dollar, goes all the way to the end and falls down there. And let's do the dollar coin. Goes all the way to the second one, falls down, and is really loud. Then the quarter's next. Almost got stuck there, but yeah, as you can see. Then nickel. Then penny. Penny and dime were the hardest to get right. It's the slightest difference. And then dime. Bro, there's no way. Dime's too light. Just gotta bang it in a little bit. Even if any of them get stuck though, like let's just say that dime's stuck there. Can I, okay. And then if I just put another coin down, it'll just push it. Yeah, see? So it's not really a problem. But yeah, as you can see, every single one went through the correct spot. So what I need to do now is put containers under here to catch them and make the dimes go past both of these so that the container is over here, if that makes sense. Because dimes are worth more than pennies and nickels. They're just smaller. Why do they do this? Whatever. Um, same thing with this one. Dollar coin has to go after the half dollar. Kind of annoying there. Uh, but yeah, I got to fix up these legs and put those containers down at the bottom. And then hopefully we can finish this. I also need to tie off this. I completely forgot to do that. Doesn't look very good, come on. <laughs> but yeah, let's build it. OK, 
Okay, I built these legs that have joints. So up here you can see there's a ball joint and at the legs there's a ball joint on both sides. And I made it so this front one is slightly shorter than this back one so that it tilts forward so that the coins can run down here, right? And I have this other end touching the ground so it slides down and they line up perfectly with the ground now because of those joints. And as you can see, if I just like, drop down the half dollar, it goes all the way down. So that's good. And now just need to make the containers at the bottom that hold them all. So let's do that. Okay, so I got it down here. As you can see, there's a dollar coin slot and a half dollar and the quarter slot. And if you look over here, the half dollar falls all the way down in that spiral and goes in that second one. Then I tore it out for a second, but there's a ramp that puts the dollar coin in that container there. And then the quarter I'm still working on, it just falls in easily right there. But the ramp was way complicated for the half dollar there. And I have to do the same thing up here for the dime and the pennies and stuff. So it's gonna be a little complicated. Yeah, I got it this far, so yeah, it works. Let me show you real quick. Okay, so I put the half dollar in. It slides all the way around into that slot. So, I mean, it's working, so that's good. But yeah, I'm just gotta fill all this stuff in right here for the pennies, nickels, and dimes. So, yeah, let's do it. Okay, I finally finished it. Everything should be working properly. It took way longer than I thought it would, and it looks really interesting. It almost looks like a gunship from Star Wars. So I'll pop one up next to it. It looks like that. I don't know why, but it looks like that. But yeah, it, it works and it's really cool. So let me show you. I think it's funny how colorful this is. I didn't have like one specific color of piece to do this with, so I just did it with whatever, but I got six coins here to test out on it. So let's do it. So let's see, let's do an order of price. Penny first goes down and as you can see at the bottom right there, it went down, nickel next. What? Not sure what happened to the nickel. What, that got stuck right there? What? I don't understand how it got stuck right there. I pushed it out with a quarter, but now the quarter's stuck in that spot. Ooh, there we go. Okay, let's try the nickel again. There we go. <laughs> And as you can see, there's like a whole like top section that's slanted and then the bottom is flat. Right there is how everything's held up on this end and the other end are extended out by the two legs. So that's holding up this entire top part and this bottom part just sits on the ground. So it's kind of crazy how much it's holding right there. And you can see how it moves the top part, but it works even if it moves. Okay, next up is dime, which this one's the weird one because it's smaller but it costs more than both of those so it'll go in the first slot but it'll make it to the third slot down at the bottom there we go then quarters next right there then we got half dollar which is also a weird one because it's bigger than the dollar coin and so let's try it there's no way bro okay there's like a one percent chance that it gets stuck there i've had to get stuck there like once before it's just when i'm recording there's bad luck you know what it is what? Got stuck in a spot I've never even seen it get stuck. Okay, there we go. See, it pops up in that slot. And then dollar coin. Boom. There we go. All six coins are organized down here. So you got all of them just like that. And all the contraptions to make them go in the right spots are back here. So as you can see on this side, I showed you this a little bit ago, but yeah, that's where the... Half dollar goes down. I don't know why it got stuck twice right there because it worked fine like every other test. And then the dime one. So the dime goes in there. It spirals around back down that hole and then that goes into the slot, right? And it's hard to show these other two. I need a flashlight. So the brown slope kind of at the bottom is for the nickels. And then that the black slope up front is for the pennies to get dropped off. So it's kind of hard to see in there, but they both have to go over the dime slot and be moved over by one. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense because they're bigger than the dime, but worth less. <laughs> so it's really annoying. And yeah, these modified legs right here, I put ratcheting pieces on them. The ball joints were being moved. So these ratcheting pieces make it so it can't be moved again. <laughs> so now that we know it works, let's try every single coin I have. 
So let's just start with all these ones. No matter what happens to these, if they go in the wrong spots or get stuck, I'm just gonna keep them there. The bad part about this is that only one coin can go in at a time. I was thinking about making like a feeding system that'd make it so it wouldn't have to do that. But it was kind of confusing to figure out. I already see some issues. The one half dollar got stuck. Like, I don't know, this is my look. Pennies, I think the pennies are so dirty that they can't slide on the track. This is kind of funny. Look at this. Those are the pennies, just three pennies stuck. Super dirty quarter time. Quarter doesn't move either. This is an issue. I didn't think about all the dirty ones. I've used clean ones for the testing. Crap. Well, let's just keep going. Okay, there we go. Starting to move. That penny is going, the penny went in the quarter slot. Well, let's just keep it going. Okay, this is like super backed up. Look at how many pennies are right here. Like I should have really thought about, oh, whoa, there they go, most of them. I didn't think about how slick the dirty ones would be compared to the non-slick ones. Wait, how non-slick the dirty ones would be, yeah. Pennies are about to be completely filled up. That is not good. Pennies are right there. There's like slightly more area they can go to. So we got a lot more coins left, so I don't know what's gonna happen there. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're backed up or if it's just broken. It's kind of like one coin got stuck and all the rest are piled up in there. But let's keep going. Crap. Okay, the pennies have overflown like completely. So I'm gonna not put any more pennies in and put other coins in now because it'll just block all the other coins from going in. Why do these coins not slide? This is weird. Is it like the direction I put it on the table? Depends on if it'll work or not. Okay, not really. Yeah, these are like not sliding anymore. I wonder if the dirty coins got all the track dirty or something. So they won't even move, like what is this? There we go. That put the half dollar down too, finally. Okay, that's the rest of them. Gotta get them down. Whew. Okay, well that was interesting. <laughs> okay, now it's time to see how reliable this was. So you can immediately tell that pennies didn't do very good at, uh, but that's because they have so many. So it's a little unfair there. So looking closer at these, you can see that pennies actually did pretty good. You can see that they're stacked up in there. And then if I turn this, you can see the edge of a penny right there and they're all clogged past that. So that's the bad part is when one thing gets jammed, everything else does. Uh, but then moving over to nickels, there wasn't too many nickels, so they did pretty good. Yeah, that penny that was in there, this is probably what happened. The penny made its way on top of the nickel and it went down, went over the penny slot and then it fell down with the nickel in the nickel slot. So that's probably what happened there. Dimes also did really well. The reason why there's not so many here is the contraption I have to make them not bounce out back there. It makes it lower so that they don't land vertical and fly out, makes them so they land flat. So that kind of blocks it up. And again, if you look out back, you can see how many there are, but they all made it down that chute, which is really nice. There's a couple pennies in there too. Uh, they just must have been pushed in by something. Uh, quarters is really good. There's only a, oh, wow. I don't even see a single other coin in quarters. <laughs> that one's really good actually. Okay, okay. And then half dollars, it got jammed, but it made its way down after we hit it a couple times. Then this last one, the dollar coin, both dollar coins made it and a quarter made it, so. So honestly, I'd say it did pretty well. There's a couple issues, but besides that, I have to say it sorted these fairly well. And now all my coins are sorted, even the pennies, kind of, because I took the coins out of them, you get it? <laughs> so yeah, that's the coin sorter. I didn't think about the dirty coins jamming in it and stuff, which is kind of hard to not do if you think about it. I was trying to think about, about another way I could do this that wouldn't involve that, but that would involve like rolling coins maybe, which maybe could work. Yeah, maybe, okay, okay, I'm trying to think of other ideas. I could turn this more vertical and have it slightly angled down so they'd fall into the holes, but they'd be rolling vertically, which would make the dirty parts of them not really matter as much. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so that's kind of annoying in that aspect. Also, those other issues of coins going on top of each other, 
but it organized them in the general areas, which is good. So yeah, I'd say it was a success. If any of you guys have ideas for the contraption to like just dump a whole container of coins through the slot one at a time, uh, let me know in the comments because I have no idea how I'd do that. That'd make it this process more automatic instead of me having to put every single one in. Uh, but yeah, so if, if any of you guys know how to do that, I might make a part two to this and figure out the correct design to make everything work properly. <laughs> but yeah, if you wanna check out a video similar to this, I'll have a link up here in the corner and down in the description. But as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. But it's kind of a disaster, so let me pick it up real quick. Bro, those snaps are not good. Why are my snaps so bad? There we go.